and we back today we're doing an uh rebuilding challenge that there's literally no rebuilding yeah it makes no sense right uh well we usually do fantasy drafts here on this channel right and we let our assistant gm draft our team and then that's when i come in like boom boom bada bam and we build a championship team today's video none of that is happening i am drafting myself and I am not making trades, which means that I have to draft the perfect team to win a championship with no trades. Yes, sir. So the idea came from uh, Josh. Josh says, ask Kenny to do the you draft challenge. Hey, you is, is in me. Rules, uh, like usual, you randomly select the team and do a fantasy draft. But you draft instead of your assistant. The challenge is that you're not allowed to make any trades, so you need to make the right picks. And you'll see if you can shine. Okay. So, yes, this is a challenge that will be um, difficult. You know what I'm saying? I really have to hit on every single pick to build the perfect team to win a championship. So, I'm giving myself three total tries. Three tries in this challenge. Because, I mean, if we succeed in our first try, this video is going to be like six minutes long. Or it could be six times six times six. It could be almost a 20-minute video if I fail. But I don't want to fail. You know what I'm saying? If this video is short, which means that I am really the king around here. I mean, I've really made my name about rebuild and not necessarily drafted, so this will be a first for everybody. Be sure to leave a like on the video, man. We've been killing the like button. I've been giving y'all goals. Y'all been going out there and achieving those goals. Today, I'm not giving you a goal. I just want to see how many likes you can get without me telling you to, to get to that likes. All right? So leave a like and subscribe. But let's go do the no rebuild rebuild. The one thing that matters more than anything right now is what number pick we have. Because we have the 30th pick. Let's be honest with each other. I'm not drafting a championship team with the 30th overall pick. But if I end up with a top 10 pick and I can get a star player, GG's it is over. So I'm closing my eyes and I'm stopping at 3 and 2 and a 1. We're on the New York Knicks. New York Knicks. Okay, what number pick will I have with the Knicks? Oh, it's over. GG's. You see it's random. And you know what? You know what? I'll be right back. Had to put on the exclusive through the wire. New York Knicks one. This is from back in 2018. When I did a live show in New York City, we decided to make these custom shirts, the Knicks jersey colors, because, I mean, we're in New York. So, you know, as if I'm going to try to build a championship team with a third overall pick in New York, I got to rock the colors. I honestly think this is going to be the highest chance of building a championship team. LeBron. LeBron? Do I get LeBron? Okay, there's too many options here. Honestly. Honestly. Oh, okay. So, what I'm thinking is either LeBron, Kawhi. Yep, those are my two options. Those are my two options. I don't know if I've ever... Bro, Kawhi is such a beast in 2K. Y'all know it. If you do rebuilds, you know that Kawhi and Luka and Giannis. But you saw that <laughs> those two guys got picked first and second. Those are the three people. The three players that destroy it in 2K Sim. You know what I'm saying? This had nothing to do with real life, y'all. If this is real life, I'm taking LeBron James with movement like that. This has nothing to do with real life. I've honestly seen LeBron teams not even make the playoffs. Do y'all remember that from just like three videos ago? He was on the 76ers. No. Was, yes, he was on the 76ers. They beat us in the playoff the first year. Then the second year, they didn't make it. Then the third year, they didn't make it. Then the fourth year, they didn't make it. I'm going with Kawhi Leonard. Is that a fatal? I mean, LeBron went sixth. Come on, man. It Could that be a fatal mistake? 100% it could. But it could also be the reason we won a championship, okay? Now, the, wrong, the, the bad thing about this is that since we had the uh, very, very high pick, um, our second round pick is going to be low, as you can see. So we, we get to draft our second guy. I got to think about this logically because, again, there is no trades going on. There's no trades that goes on. So I have to just build what I think to be a perfect team. We already have Kawhi. Do I just try to go back to back with Kyle Lowry and Kawhi? I feel like that's actually the right idea. I'm going Kyle Lowry here. And then we can get a, one of those bigs. One of the bigs will still be here. And I'm not going to go Vucevic. I'm not going to go LaMarcus Aldridge. But instead, I'm going Steven Nattles, my 7, uh, my 6'11. Oh, if he was 7'11, he would have got picked in the first round. My 6'11 player from, uh, ooh. Uh, where is he? From? New, Z New Zealand? New Zealand? Yes. Okay. So we have a point guard, we have a small forward, and we have a center that I really, really like. Now, the surrounding pieces, I want to put my shooting guard as like a 3 and D. I can have my power forward be 3 and D too, and that's why I'm looking at Serge Ibaka. You know, you make Serge Ibaka a center. Oh, my hair is tripping. If you make him a power forward, his overall goes up. So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. And then we have Seth Curry. We have JJ. If we can somehow get JJ Redick next round, it's over with. Give me my championship right now. So Serge now. 
JJ is still there. Oh, do I want to go Seth? Okay. So I have to figure out if I would rather have JJ Reddick for one year or Seth Curry for one year. They're the same overall. So to y'all, it may not matter. To y'all, it may not matter, but it, it could matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, Harris LeVert is cool, too, but I, I'm legitimately looking for a guy that could just torch the three. And, you know, the, these two guys, historically, are, like, some of the best shooters of all time. So, do I go based on, like I said, I wanted a 3 and D player. You know what I'm saying? 3 and D. JJ Reddick ain't really got, I mean, he's, he's average as far as, like, grades go as a C. Seth Curry is below average, which is... Kind of surprised. I thought Seth Curry's a better defender than that. He's only 6'2". JJ Reddick's 6'3", so I guess it's not that much. I'm going to go with JJ Reddick. JJ Reddick is the guy I picked up there. So we have our star lineup of Cal Lowry, JJ Reddick, Kawhi Leonard, Serge Ibaka, and Steven Adams. That's our five. So now we're picking our bench, our sixth man. Who do I want to be my sixth man? In real life, George Hill is a great sixth man. He's averaging like nine points per game this season. But he has the highest three-point uh, percentage in the entire league right now. I love that. But I don't know how much that transfers to 2K. So I'm going to see who else down here. I feel like it'd be like a prototypical sixth man, a guy that can come in and get you buckets. I see Terrence Ross here. But I also feel like I can get Terrence Ross in the next round. So... I think I go Brooke Lopez here. I, I've gone through Sims where Brooke Lopez is actually... You see how I'm taking... Like, I'm really taking my time because this is actually super important. Um, I've seen Sims where Brooke Lopez wasn't really that good. And it kind of scares me to draft him. But I will. And then hopefully we can get Terrence Ross. Is Terrence Ross going to be there? He will be down here somewhere. Oh, whoa. He's kind of far down. 78 overall, but... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping one overall spot. Or do I want to get Tim Hardaway Jr.? He's only got three badges. And then I have Terrence Ross with eight badges. You know what I'm saying? Both of them are good scores, And I think they'd be good scores off the bench. But I'm just looking at Terrence Ross. He's done it off the bench for a while. I'm going Terrence Ross here. And then look at that. Tim Hardaway Jr. right behind him. Okay. So we have a seven-man rotation at the moment. Um, Let's think about... Well, let's see what we have up here. Tomas Sadaransky is a backup point guard that we could use. 6'7". He's got that size. As uh, a good playmaker, I could potentially take that. That is young. There's two Bulls players that are cool. They're very, they're, they're cool as backup. So I'll go to my Sadaransky right now. He's the best guy available. Um, so next we can go. Huh. I see my boy busy, but that's not what we really need. I'm looking at it like this. Like if I make Kelly Olynyk a power forward, his overall will go up dramatically. I think it's like an 81 overall, and I, I could use something like that. We'll pair him alongside Brook Lopez. We'll have two close seven foot type guys coming off our bench. One is a good defender, one is not. But this guy will be running our power forward for us. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Kelly Olynyk. I don't know if he Kelly Olynyk has the DNA to be a champion, but we will see. We will see. And then now we're getting to the 10th, 11th, 12th, 14th man on the roster through there. So, point guards, we got them. Shooting guards, we need a backup small forward. It's not super important to get a backup small forward, but we will do it. I see Iggy, Danny Green, Andre Roberson. Yes, sir. Shout out to Andre Roberson, man. Hitting those two back-to-back -back threes in the scrimmage games. And Andre Roberson, if you make him a, a small forward, his overall goes up to 80. So, I'm just switching overalls here and there. So, now we have a 10-man rotation. So, the rest of this draft is just drafting. Uh, I will take Marcus Gasol. Hello? As he 11, in the 11th round, Marcus Gasol is just sitting there? W's. And then 12 through 14 don't matter too much. I'll get a backup point guard like um, I get a backup point, the, just the best backup point guard, which will be in this situation to me. Brad Wanamaker, no disrespect to Sean Livingston, but I'm going to go with that one. And let's get another wing like Cal Corver, sure. Welcome to the team, Hot Sauce. And let's get an actual, I don't have a single like actual power for it, but that's it. Mike Scott, welcome. Okay, so that, how do y'all think I did? You know what I'm saying? First draft, I want you to comment right now. How many wins do you think this team will get? Let me make Surge a power forward. Oh, that's beautiful. Surge is a power forward. I'm going to make his secondary position a center. And then I think I needed to make Kelly Olenek a power forward to make his secondary position a center as well. He goes up to an 81. I think that's exactly what I said. I see they've rather been doing rebuilds for so long. I just know. I just know things. Uh, they want to start Andre Robeson. That is not what, we, what we're doing. Uh, JJ Reddick will 100% start for us. So Andre Roberson, look at that. 80 overall, Andre Roberson. I think this is a championship contending team. I do. We're going to have JJ Reddick, Cal Lowry. This team is good. Yo, this team is good. And we got championship DNA because we got, what did I got? Three people that won a championship last year. One, two, three, four. Because I also got Marcus Saul. So I have four Raptors from last season. So the big thing for me next 
is to figure out what system fits the best for us. Um, we can do grit and grind. We do have good, very good defenders and stuff. Space and pace would also work. Um, but I think overall, balance works the best. So let's go find a balance coach. Uh, Fizdale, you do not fit that. Balance, we, Trent. Trent is always going to be the guy, man. Let's be honest. If we need a balance coach, Trenton's guy. So Kawhi, Cal Lowry. I need to make Kawhi my number one option. I need people to know that Kawhi is what we, what our guy, who our guy is. And he's going against this one of his former teams there. First game of the season, we went by one. Chris Paul did his thing. Jay, oh, this is a nice team. Chris Paul, Jason Tatum, and Vucevic. JJ Redick led us in scoring, though. Beautiful. Okay. Is this the championship team? No trades. So I'm disabling that. Two and one. Three and one. Four and one. Five and one. Six and one. Did we just body this the first try? I'm getting, it was, it, we did get help by getting a superstar. I, I have to admit that. It was in my favor. How much is Kawhi averaging through? Come on, man. You know what I was also thinking, though, as we're, we're doing a simulation? Let's go to, like, we can't do trades. We'll go to around the trade deadline. What I was thinking is it would also be kind of cool or probably the best to get, like, a, a draft pick that's, like, middle of the pack. So you'll always have like a middle of the pack pick. You know how, like I said, the first round we had a high pick. The second round we had a real low pick. But if you're in the middle of the pack, you're always in the middle of the pack. You know what I'm saying? And that 15th pick, you could probably get somebody really good. And they got another player that's also like an all-star caliber player. And so on and so forth. Um, but right now we are 30 and 9. That's good. That's probably going to lead the league. Yeah, come on, bro. We're going to body this challenge the first time. And I don't want to see the comments about it's because of Kawhi. It's yes, Kawhi does matter. But it is about the person that put the team around Kawhi. Kawhi cannot do it on his own. He can't. So I put him around <laughs> the players that he did it with last year, basically. We're 41 and 10 at this moment. And that is the best record in the entire league by... By a pretty decent margin, which is cool. Seven game win streak currently. Let's go to. I'm gonna just take a look at our like our team stats and stuff. Team stats, and we have. We don't have the best offense in the league as far as PPG, but we're pretty pretty close. And we have the best defense. That's why I really wanted to do. I wanted to put together a good defensive team. Well, I already had Kawhi. Then I put him around Steven Adams and Serge Ibaka and Kyle Lowry. It's cool that JJ Redick is not a good defender because he does this for us. He lights it up and shoot 42% from three on a lot of attempts. Um, so, yeah, things are looking really good for us. Things are looking really good for us. Will we win a championship? I don't know. But right now, I would say we're in the driver's seat of this, this challenge. And we are killing it. Off the bench, Kelly Olenek is averaging 14 and he's shooting it super efficiently. Shout out to him. Serge Ibaka. We'll take that. Steven Adams is going to get his 10-10 in a block. He's always going to get at least one of those things. Uh, but Steven Adams is a positional defender, not really a vertical defender. You know what I'm saying? So he's not going to get a lot of blocks. But we know he's a good defender using his body. Um, Brooke Lopez, on the other hand, he should get a decent amount of blocks. I mean, he's getting 1.3 off the bench. Terrence Ross is not, the not doing Terrence Ross things. But okay. And yeah, all right, Andre Robeson, 12% from three. Okay, so I'm just going to the end of the season, and maybe we did it. So we won 65, I think it's 65 games, 65 games. Giannis wins MVP. Uh, defense player went to Kawhi, yes, sir. So we get one award. We're probably going to get two because coach of the year as well. We had a 97 offense and a 94 defense with no trades, man. So... Come on, get you gotta get you gotta get a brother some props on that. You gotta give me some props on that with no trades. All NBA second team for Kawhi. Um, all defensive first team. Obviously, he won the um, defense player of the year. No rookies. Cool. So we ended up with the best record in the East and probably the entire league because yeah, an entire league. In the first round, we're going against the Detroit Pistons, who have Reggie Jackson back in Detroit, Bradley Beal, Demar, Rui Hachimura, Window Carter. They have a pretty small team. They have a pretty small team. 6'9 is the tallest guy in their lineup. We have 6'11, 6'11. I guess 6'10, 6'11. And Kawhi. So, you know what I'm saying? This should be a walk in the park. Even though AC seeds have historically destroyed me in some series. But we get out of that one. Two against the Chicago Bulls. We have Spencer Dinwiddie, Paul George, Tobias Harris, Aaron Gordon, and Mason Plumlee. Now, this is a way better team than that first round matchup with Paul George and Tobias playing together. Of course, Spencer Dinwiddie is that point guard. A better matchup. What I'm thinking is... You know what? Let's go game by game for this one. If they win this first game, I'm going to make the necessary changes. Okay, we took game one. I'm a little afraid of Paul George because you did not notice his matchup is J.J. Redick. And again, J.J. Redick is not built to defend. So they take that game 
and we have to make the necessary changes for it. We got to. We have to. I will. I refuse to lose because I'm being a bad GM slash coach. So let me go out there and go to the Bulls and get this matchups. Now I don't know what I would. I, you would think that like instantly you got to think about putting Kawhi Leonard on him, right? But then that leaves us to having Cal Lowry. I mean, not Cal Lowry. JJ Redick guard and Tobias Harris. That doesn't sound like a plan either. But we'll stick it here. We'll stick it here. And then may, if Tobias has a big game, then we'll think about it. We'll think about what to do next. Game three, we win. Beautiful. And Paul George didn't have a great... I mean, he put up 26. He had five turnovers, though. And Kawhi had three steals. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that was the necessary change. 3-1. Paul George said... I mean, it's Paul George. You know what I'm saying? It's, it is Paul George still. Uh, it's like a good old Clippers practice. But we get out of that round. They took a game and Kawhi closed it out with 42. All right, and Tobias didn't have that game I was thinking about. And Paul George is silent. Wait, is this Thaddeus? Oh, I was about to say, did they have Trey Young and I didn't see? Paul George is silent in this elimination game. Even though he was on fire for the entire playoff so far, this one elimination game, he was bad. And they're going to talk about that on Sports Center. I'm keeping a buck. If we're going against the Nets, we are one series away from being in the championship. And again, another well put together team. Freddie. CJ, Eric Gordon, Maxi Kleeman, Jokic. I'm, one thing I'm really afraid of for them is they don't really have that defender. Right? Fred Van is a good defender, obviously. But uh, CJ's not a great defender. Eric Gordon is undersized. Guarding Kawhi? Kawhi better average 60 this, this series. Uh, Maxi Kleba, yeah. Jokic, we should be able to be, get out of here. Game one is a win for us by four. So we barely got out of that one. And Eric Gordon had a game. And Jokic had a game. K CJ had a game. But the rest of the team didn't really show up. This is Justin Holiday. Back in New York. He played for the New York Knicks, right? Yeah, he played for the New York Knicks once upon a time. Um, back in New York. No, no, no. I'm New York. What am I talking about? He's in Brooklyn. Okay. Next game. 2 0 us. Brooke Lopez off the bench. 18. These are the type of games we need. Brothers off the bench having big old games. And the other man off our bench. Our, our front court off the bench outscored our starters come on bro another game are we gonna go on 3-0 on these boys and we will Jokic again another big game for Jokic but Kyle Lowry Kyle Lowry and then lastly hopefully we're four games away from completing this challenge on the first attempt that's like I said I gave myself three tries we may get it done right now with number one and again you can say it's lucky that a, that a brother ended up with a third overall pick. Or you could just acknowledge that Kenny is just great at drafting. I gave y'all all of my logic. Why I drafted a certain player over another player. And so far it's working out. Again, we are four games away though. And this team is actually the best team we've gone against. Which makes sense. is the finals. They have Kendrick Nunn, Josh Richardson. John Isaac, Giannis, and Mitchell Robinson. The best defensive team. Okay. The Clippers. Again, I thought we were the best defensive team in the league this season. Right? I'm pretty sure we were statistically. But they had to be second. They were third. They were third defensively. So, yes, this team defensively is great. Uh, defensive rating-wise, they're fourth. But, again, a very great defensive team. I don't know what their benches look like. But based on this start at five, defensively, they're going to give us some trouble. And we take game one, though. We put up 112 points. We'll take that. Who's on their bench, though? Zach, oh, Zach Randolph is getting big minutes? I mean, Zach Randolph's having a great playoff run, by the way. 50% from the field. He's shooting 49% from three. On how many attempts is Zach Randolph shooting? He is hitting. He is smacking them things. Okay, Zach. Somebody get Zach Randolph a job in real life there. If he can do like this in a playoff series, in a playoff run, give him a job. Derek Favors off the bench. Todd Gibson. They got a bunch of bigs, bro. John Isaac played... 25 minutes did not score the ball at all he turned it over three times and he only got three rebounds the way they disrespect john isaac in this game is ridiculous bro john isaac is going to be a star he's already a star defensively he's going to be way better than what 2k's got him all right next game is a win oh we're going to complete this challenge aren't we kelly olenic i need to trade for kelly olenic and more rebuilds or, or draft kelly olenic more often this guy is killing the game off of our bench 15 points per game off of our bench in the regular season. And then in the playoffs, 14 with great efficiency. Kelly Olenek, a king. And then, Kawhi, and then uh, Giannis, hold on, game one, Gian, oh, Giannis had a big stat line. But game two, we put the clamps on. We put the clamps on. 
Okay, they take a game. And that was the, this is the big Giannis game. That's the big Giannis. They only won by two, but that's the big Giannis game. Cal Lari was, ooh, that hurts to put up these type of numbers and lose, Cal. I know, I know, I know. I've, I've done it before in the rec, okay. I didn't do it in the rec league, but here they come fight him. Here they come fight him. So this is what I'm thinking. We normalize the rotation. I'm gonna shorten it a little bit. And what I will do, because Jonathan Isaac is not a threat to us. You know what I'm saying? So what I will do, I am going against the Clippers, correct? Okay, what I will do, I'm putting Kawhi on Giannis. It, it worked in real life last season in the conference finals, and it's going to work here. We don't need Kawhi Leonard Gar and John Isaac. John Isaac hasn't done anything this series. He hasn't done anything. Like last game, he put up a point. He had a free throw. Yeah, we are wasting Kawhi's defense putting him on John Isaac. And there's a, there's a game. Oh, I went Sam Kaz live. We're up 3-2. We we're one game away from completing this challenge. This is going to take a second, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get out of here. Cool. So we're one game away. I want to look at the box score, though. I bet Giannis had a difficult time out there. I mean, no. 22, 15, and 5. That's a that's an average game for Giannis. That's an average game for Giannis. But look at that. John Isaac puts up 10 and 7 since he's not guarded by the defense player of the year. We close it out right here in LA. Or do we go? I think we're going to go game 7, aren't we? All right, here we go. Game 7. I'm showing the rotation even more. It is a game 7. Game seven situation right here. Are we ready? All right, let's go. Game seven situation. Let's get it. My boys, come out that first quarter. Oh, we're up by a dub. We're up by a dub, y'all. Challenge complete. Challenge complete. Dominate them across four quarter. I mean, that third quarter. Eh, not really dominated, but we won the quarter. And just like that, the Knicks have won their first championship since the early 70s. Thanks to general manager Kenny Beecham coming out there and drafting the perfect team. And Kawhi puts up 25 and a half, six rebounds, three and a half assists, shots, 59% from the field, 42% from three in the finals. What do y'all say? Was it Kawhi? Was it me? Or was it 70% Kenny, 30% Kawhi? Was it 70% Kawhi, 30% Kenny? I don't know. You let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, as always, please have to leave it a like. This was a fun challenge. Shout out to my guy again. My guy, uh, my guy, uh, Josh. Right? Did I say Josh? Yes, sir. Shout out to my guy, Josh. Thank y'all so much. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.